Hello, everybody. Welcome back to some Fallout 4. My game's... I did restart my game, but it still seems to be a little weird. And I'm still not quite sure why. Uh, so picking up where we left off last time, uh, I did say that we were going to check out a building that I couldn't pronounce the name of because it was an acronym. Uh, but yeah, it's the uh, Bureau of Alcohol... Hey, Uh, where the fuck? There it is. Good God, Preston. The Bureau of Alcohol, Drugs, Tobacco, Firearms, and Lasers. Because, you know, Fallout, right? Uh. A little bit more. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know what's up with it. Maybe my Xbox is being pissy because I haven't. Uh, is this what I think it is? Sure is. So these are rust devils. As you can see, they are a raider gang. Get the fusion cores. Uh, that uses robots. Now, for the most part, uh, they're not too, too bad compared to other raider gangs. Their armor is a little bit more bulletproof, as you can probably guess, since it's made from, as you can see, it's made by, from robot bits. Oh, wow, this one actually barely took any damage. And now he took all the damage. Um, but yeah, besides the fact that they walk around with, oh, and that one's on the ground. Um, with sentry bots and assaultrons, they're not too bad. Like, they themselves aren't too bad. The robots are pretty horrid Another to deal with. Minute, um, but as you can see, if you have a critical saved up, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to get critical banker, uh, you can target, because... If they don't have, like, sentry bots are horrible to fight. Like, we haven't had to actually fight one yet. They are horrendous. Like, I can't imagine fighting uh, combat rifles we don't get very much of. I will take some of their robot armor, because we don't have any of it yet. Uh, but yeah, we haven't had to fight any of them, and I can't even imagine trying to fight one on the, high, on the highest difficulty. Um, but yeah, if you have a critical saved up, and you have the, I think you still need the penetrator perk as well because if you don't have that, then it doesn't let you target the in, the fusion cores on it because they are obviously inside the robot. All right, what did I get? I got robot chest, right arm, and right leg. So this will give me the left arm, and then I need the left leg. That doesn't looks like I'm out of luck right now. But yeah, the sentry bots are absolutely horrible to fight. Um, I don't take that one. Or that helmet, because I don't have that one. Got the eyeball one, though. Don't know what I just got experience for, though. Left arm, right leg. God damn it, no left leg. Um, but yeah, if you got the penetrator perk, you got a critical saved up, just shoot the fusion cores. It will... Automat as soon as you hit them, it, it does. I don't think that like I even had to use my rifle for that. The fusion core is very fragile when shot with a bullet, as you can imagine. Not really designed for that, and uh, it'll blast the fuck out of. It'll automatically kill the sentry bot, which is nice. And uh, as you can tell, makes a giant explosion that. Uh, well, I mean, it took out a few of them, it crippled more, it blew the legs off of the, uh, uh, Assaultron, which is nice, because they're the second worst robot to fight. Some, I, I could see some people saying that they're worse than the Sentry bots, but I have a little bit more trouble with the Sentry. Well, actually, come to think of it, that may not be true. 
hate pulling a short straw. It's better be worth it. How do we know I'm not risking my ass breaking into an empty police box? There has to be at least one of those things locked up as evidence. Besides, why would they install a turret to guard a probe closet? Good point. Alright. See, as you can see, we're not alone. It's a woman named Sparta who is currently leading the, uh, the bandits who are here trying to raid this place. Lasted longer than... Ah oh, man, because it wasn't a sneak attack, I guess. Fuck it, eyes for me. Out. You're dead. I see you coming out of there, Sparta. <laughs> Also, well, no. I also see that you're charging me with a sniper rifle, which is an odd choice, I will say. I mean, if you had a shotgun, I may have had to actually try and cripple your legs. But I mean, if you're going to charge me with a sniper rifle, I feel like I don't really have to worry about it too much. Uh, there are a few things to collect in here. There is one quest item. Not that we have the quest yet, but I do believe we can still pick up the item. Oh my god, what is wrong with my, like... Maybe my Xbox is pissy. I've been playing my PlayStation a lot more lately. I kind of lost interest in Kingdom Come. Not very far into it, by the way. Like, not nearly far enough to actually say I didn't like the game, like... Uh, I'll take that. Ooh, Sturdy Raider. What was it that I was missing? Remember to keep those on me. I need Sturdy Raider chest. I need right arm. Fuckers. Just can't give me the last fucking piece of it, eh? Uh, but yeah, I, uh... I didn't make it very far. I got to a point where I needed to pick a couple locks. As far as I can tell, I mean, there is probably another way around it. But it seems like the way uh, Ford requires me to uh, to pick a lock. So, you know, I did what I could to get some money to buy some lock picks, And then both of them broke because the lock picking in that game is... It's something, let me tell you. Oh, I see they actually did manage to take the turret down. Uh, but yeah, it's uh. You were so dead. dead. Where are they? Hey. Oh God, dog. Boy, we got him. Hearing shit. Ah! Oh man, come back! I was having fun! Ah! That was a bad time to come up the stairs. Think you can win this? Huh? Oh, yes. Yes, I do. Okay, so there's still one downstairs. Could very easily be another turret. Not nothing I want. Although I don't think that I have a full set of the standard metal armor, but dude, where are you going? Let's get this over with. Yeah, my control seemed to be very floaty for some reason. I don't know why. Nope, not what I wanted. I wanted to heal, thank you. And I have no idea what I just picked up. 
I mean, if you actually had a chance of killing me, it would probably be very worth it, but... I sure am not. In fact, my stealth isn't even all that high. If I'm being honest, I mean... Although my agility is 10, so... Oh my god. Yeah, I really don't nice. know what's up with it. I don't know if it's a problem with my Xbox. Maybe I just need to restart my Xbox, period. Not just... Oh, what do we got? The Chief's Key? Well, I guess the Chief died on the can, but that's... No, you know, you gotta go, you gotta go. Well, yeah, I'm getting some really weird, like... Lag spikes and whatever, but that's... Just bear with me for this. For this part, and I'll make sure to, like, completely restart my Xbox before I uh, record anything else. Like, well, I guess the next thing I would have to record would be Sherlock. But yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll turn something else on. I guess, at the home plate. Well, I mean, I don't have one yet, so I'll take it. You don't really get too many baseball plates. Um. But yeah, I'll, I'll turn on something else afterwards to see if it's if it is the Xbox or if it's just Fallout for some reason. It wouldn't really make much sense though if it was just Fallout because I mean, I restarted the game, so I mean, if it was the game, that should have fixed it. Selkie saves us a little bit more lock picking. You know, it's weird because like normally when I uh, play this game I very rarely pick up the keys unless it, I know that the door only has like that you have to use a key for the door perfect ballistic weapons permanently do 5% more critical damage nice all right let's see what the chief's been up to Sweet. slow awesome nice turret control One turret link, condition, status, distance, offline error, because it is already destroyed. Let's see what he had to say. Sergeant Dave Mallory. Well, Sergeant isn't chief, though. Oh, whatever. Oh, file corrupted for that one. All right. Oh, this one, file corrupted. This one. No, oh, I'm getting too old for this job if I have have to deal with one more loose cannon officer playing by his own rule. I got it. Playing by his own rules, I'm going to lose my goddamn mind. If it's not Willison destroying private property again, it's that maniac Gibbs putting his life on the line. I swear, this whole squad is the reason I've got this ulcer. If the heartburn doesn't get me, it's the constant trips to the bathroom. Getting old is a bum deal. Thank God only three more days until retirement. Then I can maybe take the RV out to the woods, rent a cabin, and finally finish my novel. Too old for this shit, Gibbs. Yeah. Uh, when was that? The 22nd. Which, well, I mean, I know it didn't make it to the 30th. I don't remember exactly which day it was that the bombs fell. And let's get this safe open. Too many presses on the B button all the time. Also, okay, there it is. I was going to say, also, oh, and there's the evidence locker key. How nice of you. Okay. Yeah, good God. This is bad. I really don't know what it is. All right. Oh, come on. Sweet. Good thing is, so is that besides Fallout, I don't think that I have a whole lot else that I really need to worry about having to turn like restart. 
I don't think I have very much in my quick resume right now. Because, I mean, I have this and Sherlock, and that's pretty much it. I, oh, I mean, Kingdom Come is probably still in there, but... Man, whatever this, like, weird lag that I'm having is, it really fucks with lock picking way more than anything else. What is with all of the utensils in saves? Like, what the hell was that? Like, silver or not, I don't think that you really need to put it in a safe. I know you're this here. This is bullshit. So the reason they can hear me is obviously they're beneath me. Let's see. Take all the weapons. Cigarettes, cigars, the fat man. Whisk. Oh no, I didn't want the whiskey. Oh, I want. Okay, what the fuck is on the floor that I can't fucking step forward? It's a mini nuke. Stealth boy, this should be Detective Valentine. Nick. Listen, I'm sorry. You've got every right to be upset. You need to believe me when I tell you I had no idea. Operation Winter's End was my baby. I believe in it. I still believe in it. It kept us all in the dark, me included. I got briefed this afternoon. They laid it all up. The whole thing. Deal with the DAs, an agreement to bring down the other families. His idea to record the holotapes and incriminate all known associates. And them needing a legitimate op and a real task force to make it all look like Winter was the focus. It was the plan all along, Nick. There's nothing we can do. Winter was a stoolie for the feds. He reported directly to the BAD TFL, all on the books. For his cooperation, Winter will be granted total immunity. Effective immediately, Operation Winter's End is to cease all investigations and operations. The task force is hereby disbanded. We played our part, pal. Not the part we thought, but hey, it happened. Now we're just another box in the file. Nick, listen to me. Everything that's happened, Winter, Jenny, more than any one man should have to handle it. We need help. Boston PD has been working with the eggheads at CIT. Some new program they have to deal with trauma. Scanning brain waves or some stuff like that. I'll get you the info. You're going. That's an order. So that holotape will come into play. Well, I mean, for us, I don't think that you can actually do anything with it. But that'll come into play once we get to uh, a little bit further down the main storyline path. Oh my fuck. Trying to do this with the lag is horrendous. Like, you have no idea how little I'm pushing Got it. the stick, and yet it's, like, fucking flipping well, around. Mind that you can do that. I don't know. Preston seems to flip between being impressed I can pick locks and being annoyed that I pick locks. I mean, he doesn't like when I open up stuff that belongs to other people, even if those other people are fucking pricks. He doesn't like it when I try and get more money from people for doing hard work. Or for robots for doing hard work. Well, there's definitely more people down here, but... Hey, let's see what's on this one. Which no relic nope. But knock. Uh could. Nice. Yep. Let's see. Authorized personnel only. Prisoner. All those letters and numbers. Luke Paul Jackson, bail posted. Five ten, blonde hair, blue eyes, no distinguishing marks. Possession of unlicensed laser, one leather wallet, one plastic comb, and fifty dollars prisoner this one oh 
corrupted. All right, we don't get to learn who that person was. Uh, Opie Hurst, bail post at 6'4", brown hair, brown eyes, beard, arm tattoos, back tattoo, unlicensed laser, one leather vest, one bull knit cap, and motorcycle keys. Wow, they really stereotyped that one, didn't they? Uh, Jake Reds, currently incarcerated, 5'8", black hair, blue eyes, no distinguishing marks, evading arrest, possession with intent to distribute, a broken watch, uh, black boots, black suit jacket, black hat, $23.07 and change. And file corrupted. All right. No, nope, come on, give you me know. Might be something useful in here. Figures. Nothing but junk. Now this holotape is for a quest. So yeah, um, these tapes will come into play for Nick's uh, personal quest that he has. Preston doesn't have one. Uh, come to think of it, I'm not sure what Piper does that? either. Think you can hide? Well, yes, I don't. I don't plan on hiding, but I do think that I could. I mean, I've been running around upstairs after blowing your boss's head off for, like, how long? Uh, uh, let's see. No armor. Oh, sturdy raider. Oh, left arm. Is that the one I needed? Was it left arm or left leg? Oh, please have been left arm. Uh, damn it. It was it was neither. It was right arm. Oh, but no, he has a metal right arm. Of course he does. Rick. All right. Here, you can have your metal chest piece back. I don't fucking want that. That must be the thing I accidentally picked up from that other one. With all this dust. Hey, look at that. We've got a Protectron. All right. We finally get to use our hollow tape. That we got that controls them. Chainsaw. Alliance. Uh, no, can't be that one. Junction. Uh, I mean, could be, and it was. Let's let us load the hollow tape. The Protectron override program. Override alliance parameters. Uh-huh. And activate. Thank you. Tape back. Thank Power you. Up. All right. So now, even though he's a police one, he won't care that we have our guns out or anything. Will you, buddy? And I mean, he'll. Well, I mean, to be fair, he'll be perfectly safe because uh, we. I'm pretty sure already killed all the raiders. Armor workbench. I, I'm kind of curious as to why they bothered to put armor workbenches out in like non-settlements because like let's face it the odds that you have enough stuff to do more than maybe the first tier of standard upgrades on you when you're out and about is probably fairly slim right actually we may be 
dug it entirely because this is uh, yeah there's a dead skeleton and everything so this is the front office so yeah that let's see let's make sure we got everything um the hollow tape the magazine the other hollow tape the fat man and mini nuke the stealth boy that's it that is everything out of here so that's the bureau of alcohol yada 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 uh like i said outside of getting that hollow tape like that's the only part that this building is quest related for uh, that Eddie winter one not the we are done one um, that that's the entire quest is just to go in and get it like I, I think I explained before that uh, that particular quest line is just traveling around to all the different police stations uh, to collect the hollow tapes and that's the one from this one I guess it's not really a police station. It's a federal. Yes. Really, just locked away a single rat away. It's a just like a federal building, not a uh, not your standard cop shop, but it's still a it still counts. Yeah, I see that now. Oh, an alpha feral mongrel. Well, critical this. Just, to... uh. God, it's. I was so close. It was like I was executing the dog. I don't know why I just, well, I do know. I was going to say I don't know why I decided to shoot that ghoul in the dick, but I do. It's because that's where my crosshairs just happen to line up. There we go. Oh, come on. A little bit higher. There we go. I don't know why this guy's pink, but whatever. And here's a fusion core. <coughs> the hell are you? Like seriously, also where the fuck did this no point come from? Lost. 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 I do, unfortunately. What are you fighting, Preston? That's it. I have a feeling he was fighting that other dog that we saw and it ran away. I don't know where the hell this guy came from, though. And just metal stuff. Well, we still haven't got our full sturdy raider set. We did get a few robot pieces, though, and we cleared another building. And, uh, how long did that take us? I feel like it didn't take too long. Eh, it took about a half hour. I would, I would keep going, actually, because I do have a, more time to record today. But, unfortunately, with the way the fucking controls are right now, uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. So, that'll be it for this part. Who the fuck were all these dead guys? They're junky.
This is just a random event. I don't really remember too much about it. Junkie's note. Dealer said there was a big stash of chems up at Poseidon Energy Turbine number 18F. Get them and we'd be set for months or we could sell them and buy something stronger. A stash of chems. I don't even know where the fuck that is. Raider. Food paste. Intervention note. Well, that obviously went well. Hank, you've been eating a lot of that food paste that we got from that Suffolk school. It's affecting you, like, in a real bad way, man. You've been flying off the handle at every little thing. Always have this crazy look in your eyes. Heck, during that last farm raid, you even shot up a couple of runners. We don't kill them when they're fleeing, man. We're better than that. I know the stuff tastes great, but is it really worth all this? I mean, I had to write this down because I'm scared you would shoot me in the face if I said anything in person. We're your friends. We just don't want to see you go down the wrong path. Just drop the paste, man. Clearly, it went well. It's weird, though, that we also got the junkie. Like, I, don't, I feel like this may be two different things. Because, I mean, the raiders having the intervention for the guy with the food paste makes sense. But having the junkie with them as well is odd that that would be together. Uh, let's see. Quest. Let's see. Where is... Oh, whoops, that's a one. Where is this turbine? Oh, it's actually not too far. Oh, it's actually just north of us. All right. Oops. Uh, and then the other thing... was the school, which should be Lucigen Inc. Yeah, there it is, the Suffolk County Charter School. So once we get down there, we'll actually learn more about the food paste, although as you can probably guess based on how far down it is, that might be a while. Uh, but we will learn more about it. Once we get there, it uh, is actually a very good place to if you're if you want to farm a specific piece of legendary gear that I do believe. Oh, maybe you know, I don't know. It's a place full of ghouls. I don't know. I'd have to go. I, I I'd have to be there because I know that it's. I think it's a school. Where you walk in and it's like full of ghouls. And there's like guaranteed to be a legendary one. Like just inside the front door. So it's like a really fast and easy way to farm legendary. Like a piece of legendary equipment if you wanted it. But either way, that'll be it for this part. Thanks everybody for watching. And I will see you next week for more.